Okay, so at this point, you might have used in some of the challenges and things, things like import random. However, when your code gets larger, you're going to want to start separating out all of your functions that into other files, because otherwise it's going to become really confusing. So when my students are doing their bigger projects before they go off to university, I'd like them to uh, modularize their code properly. So what that means is effectively organizing all their functions into separate files and then importing them. So it keeps everything organized. So if, take, for example, this year, I've got a student that is uh, making a user interface where uh, they've got a maze generator and solver program. So they're using famous algorithms to generate mazes and then different algorithms to solve them. So it can be used as a teaching tool to compare. It sounds incredibly complicated, but this student two years ago didn't know how to code. So don't let it put you off. What I want them to do is separate out their program into different sections. So I'm going to make, for example, a very simple one here. So I'm going to do basic, uh, I'll call it simple, simple math. So I'm going to make a separate file. And if you imagine for the student, they might make a module full of all the stuff related to the user interface, another module full of all uh, maze generation algorithms, another module full of maze uh, solving algorithms, et cetera, et cetera. So once you've separated out all of your code and your functions, you can make your functions within these separate files and then use them in your main code. So I could say, for example, I could do uh, def add. And I'm going to say uh, num1 and num2 as the arguments. And I'm going to return uh, num1 plus num2. So I could obviously make add. I could do, I'll just do a couple. So I could do uh, multiply. I need to change that, don't I, to a times. And I could do uh, divide. So what we've got here is we've got three very simple math functions. And then if I go to my main file, I want to use those functions. So the standard way of doing it is write import and then write the name of the module you've created. So mine is simple math. Then throughout my code, I could use these by writing simple math. And then dot add, for example, and I could pass it two numbers. Now this is working, but you've got to remember I've returned the solution and I haven't outputted it because again, it's better practice to return it because you don't always want to output things to the console. It might be that I want to write this to a file. So this is working. So it's used that uh, function I've made in simple math, this add one, and it's used it within this main file here. So that's the main way that you might import things you can do other things so i could write um instead of import the whole file i could say from simple math uh, import add now the difference here is i don't need to then name the file i can just use the name add because i've just imported that function that's the equivalent to me writing the function higher up in my code so it's like making it a part of this file. So this is again, a good example of when you've gone further in your coding, this idea of reusing functions from previous files and stuff is quite common. So importing just part of a file is not unheard of at all. So from that file, I want to just import that function. And then I can just reference it just like it was written above in the same file. So that's another way of importing from a file. Again, like if I did, import simple math this is now going to error simple math when i run this it will error because it says name add it's not defined so again i need to highlight if i'm just importing the whole file i need to highlight that that add function is in the simple math file that i've imported or the simple math module and then it will work so the very last way which is quite common is you can import things is what we call an alias. So I could import simple math as uh, SM. And I might want to do that if it's something that I'm going to reference a lot. So instead of me having to write simple math every time, I can just write SM. And then when I run it, it will work. Okay. 
so that's still working so instead of me having to write a simple math every time i can import it as an alias and then i could just use the alias to make my life a bit easier if they've got long name modules because the most important thing about the module name is it helps describe what's inside it so these are obviously simple math functions so that's a nice name but then sometimes by making it descriptive it can end up being a bit onerous to write which is where the alias can be quite useful so it's like a shorthand quicker way of referencing that file so they're the different ways you can sort of separate your code out into different files and then import and use them all within your your main file at the start to watch the next video i'd suggest how you can actually do this for larger projects and also what that bit of code means when you first open up a python file and it says if name equals equals main mm -hmm.